In this quick video, I'll show you how to replace the battery in your Chevy Trailblazer key fob. Uh, replacing your battery at home is very easy to do. Anyone can do it. You do not need to bring this thing to the dealership. Um, and the whole process will take you under five minutes. The only things you'll need are one of these CR2032 batteries and a flathead screwdriver. Um, if you don't know where to get these batteries, or you don't have one lying around, you can go check out the link in the description. That first link will take you over to Amazon where you can find these particular batteries for just a few bucks. And the only other thing to note here is that um, there is a three button version of this device. You can see I have four buttons. Doesn't matter how many buttons you have, the process is going to be the same and the battery is the same as well. So you can just follow along with me here. The First step is to look on the left side of your device. Right at the bottom, you can see that silver button Hold that down and pull out your internal key. Now we're gonna use this key to pry off the back section of plastic here. Let me show you quickly how it's done and then I'll kind of give you the details that you need to know. So there we go, just like that. Pops right open for you and we have access to the battery. But the trick is to take your key and you're putting it in the keyhole. Do not put it in too far. If you put it in far enough, it will be, there's actually a pl piece of plastic inside of here that's holding it down and I can pry all I want and this thing is not going anywhere. You wanna come in pushing up towards the back piece of plastic and you'll find that it kind of sticks in a position like this, that's too far. Right there, it's kind of locked in place for me and I can you can tell that you're in the right spot when you start to pull up and apply pressure. Just a little bit of pressure, you can see that opening right there on the plastic. The seam is starting to open up. If I'm in too far and I'm applying tons of pressure, it's not going anywhere. But if I'm right there, once you see that little opening, you can just kind of commit to it and push, kind of pry and push up and this thing will come right off. It's actually not that tricky. Once you get your key in there, you will get a feel for it. Um, and once it's open, it is much simpler. You're just going to grab your flathead screwdriver. You could actually just use your fingernail here, but I'm going to do it this way. And you're just going to put the corner of your flathead under the battery and just gently lift it up. Just like that, it comes out. You can now dispose of your old battery. Take your new CR2032 battery, and when you're putting it in, make sure that the positive side that has the plus sign on it is facing down. So you want to go and click that all the way in there so it's sitting flat, positive side down, and all we need to do now is click these two pieces back together. So go ahead and set the back on top of the front. Make sure everything is lined up and then just give it a squeeze and pop your key back in there. And just like that, you are finished. You have a new battery in there and you are good to go. So I hope that was helpful for you. If it was, you can let me know down in the comments um, or just by giving this video a like. We love to see that. and. Um, want you to remember that if you ever have trouble or you need help with another one of your key fobs, you can come back here to this channel. We've got you covered with tutorials for the key fobs for almost every make and model out there. And you can also get that information directly over at our website, which is fobbattery.com.